This video presents our work, Approximate Convex Decomposition for 3D Meshes with Collision-Aware Concavity and Tree Search. With the development of 3D depth sensors, VR, AR, and physics simulation, large-scale detailed 3D models have become more common. A basic strategy for handling complex 3D models is to decompose them into simpler components. In particular, decomposing 3D solid shapes into convex components has aroused great interest. Many fundamental geometry problems in rendering and physics simulation, such as collision detection and point localization, are non-trivial and computationally expensive to solve for general meshes. However, if input shapes are convex polyhedra, many problems can be formulated as convex optimization problems, and efficient algorithms can be specially designed. Decomposing a 3D mesh into a minimum number of exact convex components is the exact convex decomposition problem, or ECD for short. ECD has proven to be NP-hard. Although many suboptimal heuristic algorithms have been proposed for ECD, they usually output a large number of small components, which prevent them from practical applications. Instead, the approximate convex decomposition problem proposes to lift the strict convexity constraint and only requires the decomposed components to be approximately convex. The convex hulls of the decomposed components can then be used to approximate the original shape. Since ACD approaches typically generate a much smaller number of components, which can speed up downstream applications, ACD works have recently received much attention. For example, VHACD is currently one of the most popular open source ACD methods. It has been adopted by a wide range of game engines and physics simulation SDKs. Existing ACD methods share a similar overall pipeline. In order to quantify the decomposition quality, they usually first define a concavity metric to measure the similarity between a decomposed component and its convex hull. The components that are quite different from their convex hulls have high concavity, while those similar to their convex hulls have low concavity. They then design a heuristic cost function to greedily decompose the 3D mesh through top-down partition or bottom-up clustering, until the concavity of each decomposed component is within a predefined threshold. There are three major drawbacks of existing ACD approaches. In this work, we introduce a novel method, which effectively addresses their limitations from the three corresponding perspectives. The first problem is how to define the concavity metric. Prior works mainly utilize two types of concavity metrics, each of which has its limitations. Some works measure the distance between the boundary surface of the input mesh and its convex hull, but they fail to handle shell-like structures, since they do not capture the difference from the shape interior. For example, in this spherical shell, the boundary distance between the shell and its convex hull is already relatively small. However, it is inappropriate to approximate the shell with a solid convex hull if we want to exploit the free space inside. Here are some failure cases from HACD, a boundary distance-based method. Focusing only on the boundary distance between the shape and its convex hull, it fails to handle the hollow structures and fill the interior space. Some other works utilize the volume difference between the shape and its convex hull as the concavity metric. However, they fail to handle fine-grained structures, where the volume difference is small, but shape boundaries can be quite different. For example, in this sphere with a tiny deep hole, the volume difference between the shape and its convex hull may be very small, but there are significant differences between the boundaries. Here are some failure cases from VHACD a volume-based method. Focusing only on the volume difference, VHACD fills holes when the relative volume of the errors is not too large, and introduces thin plane components. In this work, we propose a novel collision-aware concavity metric that examines the component from both the boundary surface and shape interior. Specifically, for each shape and its convex hull, we sample points from both the boundary surface and the interior and we then calculate their Hausdorff distances, respectively. The proposed concavity then considers the distances from the two pairs of point clouds. Our proposed concavity can better capture shape differences and address the failure cases of the existing concavity metrics. 
It's sensitive to detect approximation errors that significantly alter the collision conditions, no matter they are fine grain structures with small volume or thin planar structures. The second problem is how to represent a component and decompose a shape. Some prior works preserve the triangle faces of the input mesh and decompose the shape by grouping the triangle faces. They often output components with zigzag boundaries. As a result, the convex hulls of the decomposed components usually intersect with each other, which is undesirable in many downstream applications. On the other hand, some other works, like VHACD, first voxelize the input mesh, use voxels to represent the shape, and then recursively divide the voxels. However, the voxelization introduces discretization artifacts. As shown here, even when the input shapes are already convex, there are still noticeable volume differences between the voxels and their bounding convex hull. The algorithms thus fail to recognize already convex components and may try to decompose them further. Instead, we utilize triangle meshes to represent solid components during the decomposition process and directly cut the manifold meshes through 3D planes. In this way, we ensure convex hulls of the decomposed components are intersection-free and avoid over-decomposing convex shapes. We provide a lightweight mesh cutting implementation to accelerate the decomposition, which is about 100 times faster than off-the-shelf libraries. The third problem is how to search for a cutting plane. Intuitively, most previous works decompose the shapes by greedily performing a locally optimal action at each step. However, the one-step greedy search may be short-sighted and fail to find the cutting planes that result in better global decompositions. As shown here, even for the simple geometry primitives, the one-step greedy search can still generate redundant decomposed components. When only considering one cutting action, many candidate planes may lead to the same concavity deduction, and the cutting plane selection thus becomes arbitrary in these draw situations. Therefore, we propose to utilize the multi-step tree search to determine the cutting planes, which simulates and searches multiple future actions before each cutting action. Unlike the one-step greedy strategy, our multi-step tree search can find the proper first cutting plane by simulating and searching for future cuttings. It leads to the globally optimal solution. Because of better cutting plane selections, our generated decompositions typically contain fewer components. Let's take a look at some evaluation results. We compare our method with three existing works. We evaluate the methods on two datasets, the VHACD benchmark and the PartNet mobility dataset. Here are the quantitative results. We show that our decomposition results are closer to the original shape with fewer convex components. Let's take a look at some visual examples. By leveraging our proposed collision-aware concavity, we keep most structures of the input shapes with fewer components. It thus supports delicate and efficient object interaction in the downstream applications. Our method terminates when the concavities of all decomposed components are less than a predefined threshold. The concavity threshold thus balances the level of detail and the number of decomposed components. One can interpret our concavity threshold as the degree to which the original shape becomes thicker. It is thus more intuitive for users to adjust the threshold and achieve their desired decomposition. An important application of convex decomposition is to provide collision shapes for physics simulators that perform extensive collision detection. Here, we compare two sets of collision shapes generated by our method and VHACD, by training RL agents to open drawers in a physics simulator. As shown here, the collision shapes by our method preserve fine-grained details of the handles, while the collision shapes by VHACD fill the holes of the handles. The table shows that, by using more accurate collision shapes from our method, the RL agents achieve a much higher success rate. Here we show a video comparison. When using our results as collision shapes, which preserve the fine-grained details of the handles, the robot arm is easier to form a robust shape closure grasp. However, when using VHACD's collision shapes, the robot arm easily slips off the handles. 
This concludes our representation. Thanks for watching.